This is part two of Defend Your Medieval Minecraft Town and we're going to transform this to this. Let's get started. To make the gate and gatehouse we're going to need the following. Lots of stone bricks, stone brick stairs and stone brick slabs, lots of spruce planks and lots of barrels, stone buttons, a spruce door, cobblestone walls, iron trapdoors, torches for light, two spruce trapdoors and some ladders. Now the gatehouse is a total of 18 blocks tall, that's from the floor up to the parapets. Now I'm going to build this as much as if I was in survival as I can. So come into your tower to the floor with the uppermost door and facing into the gateway stone slab one more either side on the inner side one two ladders and one trap door on the outer side an iron trap door for a grill okay we're going to put one two stone brick slabs on top of them stone brick stairs now we're going to put stone blocks behind them, another two, and we're going to repeat that once more. Now we're going to put stone bricks behind those stairs and on top of them stone brick slabs. We're going to go over to the other side and repeat this setup. Now on the outermost side we're going to run these slabs all the way along until they join up over there. And a row of iron trap doors directly next to them. It should look like that. Let's start the front arch of the gatehouse. So come down to the front corner here and knock out this one and this one and replace them with stone brick blocks. Now we're going to work on this one here. We're going to take it up 11. That includes this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And you should end up one block above this little landing. Okay. Upside down stone brick stair which faces into the gateway. And now facing towards the tower, right way up stone brick stair, upside down stone brick stair, and we're going to place one, two, three stone bricks above it. Now place one stone brick on top of your upside down stone brick stair and put a slab coming off it. Having placed the slab, we're going to place one, two, and three with another slab off the end. And now we're going to place one, two, three, four, and five. You should be able to jump across onto your stairs, go down, and repeat this on that side. Right now, between that archway and this, we're going to run six stone brick slabs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now come back to either side, doesn't matter which. We have two stone bricks on top of each other. We're going to do the same again and then right way up, upside down for an arrow loop and then one, two, three, four stone bricks. Leave a gap and put one, two stone bricks right way up upside down for an arrow loop one two three come back over here to your gap jump across and now facing towards the other tower right way up upside down we're going to do the same on this side so two more stone bricks arrow loop one two three four stone bricks leave a gap and put two more jump up onto the top of the wall 
one stone brick, arrow loop facing towards you, jump across, and facing the opposite tower, another arrow loop. There we are, you should have six arrow loops in total, spaced like that. Cobblestone wall. We're going to alternate stone slabs and cobble walls as we did before, but because this is an even number, it has to be slightly different. So beginning with a slab, we're going to put one, two, three, four, then one, two, so the next to each other, and then one, two, three, four. And fill in the gaps with cobblestone wall and top all of them with a torch. Now you should be able from here to jump up onto your tower and get down. Outer arch done, let's work on the inner arch. So where your outer arch starts, come along one more stone brick block. Now we're going to go up 11 again but we're going to fill in this one against the wall as we go. So that's two three, four, ten, eleven. Eleven. Now, upside down stone brick stair as before. One, two, three, four stone brick blocks, one stone brick slab. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six stone brick blocks. Repeat that on this side. Now we're going to straddle the gap between with six stone brick slabs. And run a row of stone brick blocks right the way along the top. And there's our double arch ready for our gate. But before we do that, there's a couple of things we need to do. First, let's put a door here. So you knock out one, two, three. Upside down stone brick stair and a door. Do the same on the other side and we're going to knock out that block there and this block here. We're going to put a block here, we're going to build this one up all the way to the top of the arch and this one we're going to build up to the underside of the stairs. You can leave this as it is or you can fill it with cobblestone wall. When you get up level with the stairs, top it with stone bricks. Next we're going to place a stone brick there and we're going to take it up 14 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 13, 14. So it should end up level with this row of bricks. Okay, our gate's going there. So we're going to go 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, build up another row on top of that of stone bricks, then one, two, three, build that up another two high. Now we're making an arrow loop, and one, two, one, two. Build up three more rows of stone bricks, and make another arrow loop. So one, two, three, one, two, three, arrow loop, one, two, one, two. Now a row of stone brick. Now build another row of stone brick. And on the end furthest from the tower, facing into the gateway, an upside down stone stair, like that. Another row on top. And another upside down stone stair. Another row including on top of your stone brick stairs and then place one more at the end. Should look like that. Repeat all of this on that side. Right, now we're going to join that to this with a row of top half slabs. It should be eight slabs across. Seven, eight, perfect. And top the whole thing off with a row of stone brick right the way across and all the way over to that side. 
and now add two stone brick next to the stairs. Right, all this area here we're filling in with stone bricks. You can use slabs if you want to make it go further, doesn't matter so long as it's top half. This area here, one, two, three, four, five. And now if you want, you can either fill in the whole thing like this with stone bricks, or you can grab some spruce trap doors and you can knock out bricks here and there and make murder holes. which were for dropping things down or firing down on those who were trying to attack your gates. And one more there, just to be friendly. Right, so now pick one side, come to the far corner, upside down so stone brick stair, upside down stone brick stair, and one more. So place like that with gaps in between, do the same over the other side. Okay, come to the back, at the corner, upside down stone brick stair, leave a gap and place one, leave a gap and place one, two, leave a gap and put two more, go to the far end, do the same, so place one, leave a gap, place one, leave a gap and place one, two. That should leave you with a gap and then you join up with what you've done before. And on top of all of those, guess what? Cobblestone wall. And at the corner, out over the void. Right. Stone brick slab on the corner, one every second along the sides. And now along this back wall, you're going to place a stone brick slab over every gap. Cobble wall on all the gaps in between. Don't put one at the end here, but top all the cobble wall with torches. It's just about done. Place some torches along this wall. And we want to light up this area. Grab a fence of your choice. I like dark oak. One, two, three, with torches on top. And that's what you should end up with from the back. One gatehouse. That's the gatehouse. Time for the gates. We'll start here. We'll make one that is fully closed and one that is partly open. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven spruce logs. Build it up a second time. Now, barrels. The barrels have to face upwards so that you get the banding running horizontally. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what it should look like. We're going to repeat this three more times, so we'll have four sets in total. So more spruce, and if you're placing it on top of a barrel, remember to shift click. So there we are, four. Now we're gonna do the top. It's gonna to be a little bit different. All right, we're onto our last row of barrels. It's a little bit different. There are only six barrels to place instead of seven. Now I'm just going to place a block here to jump down on because we're going to crouch and place the barrel upside down. It doesn't matter too much here because it's covered. It will matter with the open one. Get rid of that block and now we want four more barrels. Now with this last one to place it, place a waste block on the side, jump down onto it block above it, crouch and place a barrel and now fill in one, two, three, four remaining slots with spruce. And hopefully you've used scaffolding and you can get down. 
that's our closed gate. Now you can also add a wicket gate, so I would come to one in from the edge, knock out those two, and pop your wicket gate in. Now stone buttons. Stone buttons on every second row of spruce, all the way up to the top. So there's the gate. You can make another one so the whole thing's shut, or you can make one that's open. I'm going to make one that's partly open, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, we're going to build it up the same way. We're going to go up one, two, three, and then two rows of spruce. All right, so there we go. Now, a row of barrels all the way along, but we want these two to be upside down. So again, a block to drop down on, two blocks above, and upside down barrels. And I'll show you why. See, we've got plank tops instead of a barrel top. So now we can put barrels along. It doesn't matter which way they are because we put a spruce plank on top. And this one, remember, waste block, block above, barrel, and drop. Buttons on this side this time, but otherwise exactly the same going all the way up. And there we go. That's our gatehouse with towers and walls completely done. Join me for part three and I'll show you how to make this bigger, better and more defensive.